Howdy guys, Tig here from Broke Love Stick Games, bringing you Tig and Trophy Lands Platinum number 156 for Sonic Ultimate Genesis Collection. And as you can see, I'm in the trophy list right now, and all I have is Platinum, Platinum and Airy. And uh, if I go down here to the bottom of the list, I have Critique, which is View All Artwork. Which uh, all I do is really look at art. I've been messing around with this all day, but I didn't feel like live streaming at all. It's a bunch of like nonsense. I didn't think people really want to watch. So I'm just going to the end of it. And uh, as you can see, I'm going to jump into the museum. We're going to jump into the museum here once we load in. And we have a bunch of history. So we're going to change rooms. We're going to switch over to art. And this is what we're doing. We're just going to look at art. Go through the next piece of art, and then from that, follow that forward. And we're going to progress through all these little art things together. I played a lot of these games. I'm grabbing something in my chair here. Turning down my sound a little bit. Uh, so we have Streets of Rage. So we'll just pop this sucker open. And we're just going to process through. So, go over through Streets of Rage. So we got art see what I'm doing here. So next one. Super Thunderblade. And I don't know why they started me on Streets of Rage. I have no clue on that. So we're just going to look at each art piece for each game. And then we will get the nice platinum. Hopefully. Vector Man. I played this game. Um... And you can go to a debug mode and add like 50 lives and stuff like that. If you guys are trying to get the Platinum, it made it insanely easy by adding 50 lives and 10 health. Um, you have to do the 500 photons in one run. So that one was a little bit uh, a little ridiculous. So if you need any tips on how to finish up Vector Man, that's how you do it. And then this is just showing the cartridge. Vector Man 2, uh, this one to get the uh, trophy, you just went into it and you put a... Uh, code to jump to that stage that you need the trophy for and you start that stage immediately and uh really basic i mean the trophy pretty much is handed to you you don't have to do too too much alex kid uh this one requires you to get to stage four and you have to get a mask that looks like jason from friday the 13th and that's how you get the trophy it's just in one of the little p blocks uh so that's all i had to do for that trophy Alien Storm, you had to make it through stage three without dying. Very easy, just turn the difficulty down to easy and turn up the energy to turn the energy to easy as well. So that one makes it pretty easy. Altered Beast, you had to get a hundred thousand points in one round, which is really easy. Just max out your character till they turn to obviously the Altered Beast. And fight the end boss. And you'll get the trophy for that. Beyond Oasis, man, I can't even remember this, exactly what I did in this one. Oh, I know I did in this one. You have to get to a water temple and get a crystal. So you have to begin the game, you like walk through a castle area, you fight some guys. You walk to the left, you go into this other, talk to the king. He gives you a key. Then you go across the map to the right. You go to another, you just follow the flags on the map, lead you right around. You get inside this place and you'll uh, come up through this temple. And you'll eventually have to fight this like scorpion looking character after you kill him next room there's a crystal there that's where the trophy lies so nothing too major for beyond oasis if you're going for that so this one wasn't yes this was uh what you had to do for this one um the bonanza brothers is in the first stage you had to get i want to say ten thousand points um and all you have to do for that is smack a dude. Uh, when the first room, you'll, you'll, you'll shoot a, a guy, and then you'll move to the next door, and there's a guy right beside the door, and you just keep hitting the door repeatedly. So you hit it, walk back, hit him again, walk back. Eventually hit 10,000, you get the trophy. So this one is not a hard trophy as well. And I find a lot of times it's just such a simple thing, and people should just have that little bit of explanation and they'll be able to get through it. Columns. Now this one, guys... Um, wasn't as easy. I played a lot of Bejeweled, Columns, uh, Tetris, and all those other things. This gets kind of fast, even on the lowest difficulty. What you need to do is turn the game to easy, and then load into um, novice mode in the one-player section. It's a lot easier than playing an arcade. Arcade gets ridiculously fast, and uh, not very much fun. But it was doable. And I believe you have to get... Uh, I'm going to say 100,000 
points or something like that. It was something. It was pretty high. I eventually got it. It didn't. I didn't. I did it on the first try. But I mean, you have to be used to like calling games. Comic Zone. One of my funnest uh, of the tr the trip. All you have to do is finish stage one without uh, dying, and uh, was relatively easy. I did die on my first attempt though because I fell into like a little crater where you instant death. Even though I had infinite life on a little boost cheat uh, to get through that trophy, which this is not. A lot of people get sensitive about uh, putting a boost on. It's about trophies. It's not about being a purist for the game. I understand that. I totally respect purists. So I'll go to this one, just double check, make sure I have it. Decap Attack, my favorite, uh, you know, Sega Genesis uh, collection um, was this one because it just feels so fluid. Like the character, he throws his head off, and all you have to do for this one is collect. Um, I want to say they're like little stars. I'm not really, uh, but you have to collect like five of them. So all you do is you can play the same stage over again. It's really relatively easy. You can go to a debug mode. Uh, they explain it on several of the trophy sites and stuff like that. You can just replay the same level and collect the same two coins. That's what it is, five coins. Um, and uh, you just replay the same stage. If you have any questions, you can always comment at me and say, hey, I do not know how to get this trophy, if you can explain it a little bit better. One of the hardest trophies, got it kind of by luck. Uh, you have to beat the final boss. You can jump through their stage using your typical, you know, um, I believe it's yellow bean, has been blue, blue is the password, uh, to get to the final stage for Dr. Robotnik. And, uh, you just got to beat him and he, it moves fast. And if you have never played Dr. Robotnik's mean bean machine, I had it when I played the Genesis as a kid, it gets pretty crazy fast. And I just lucked out and I, I pulled a bunch together and was able to beat him. And you get the Yada Trophy, which is pretty rad. Dynamite Hetty, I I want to say, like, I don't know if I even played this game. I don't think it was part of the trophies. So I think all I do is turn it on and then exit it. Because you do have an unlock everything trophy, so you have to go through every game and play it for, like, a second. E-SWAT, this game was pretty rad. Uh, you get uh, You have to go to the second stage and finish the boss. And one thing I will definitely tell people is to kill people in this game, you don't have to jump. Don't jump up like every time you pivot. Push down and then move left and right, and then it'll be a lot better. So my computer wanted to restart for some reason. Um, so then the second stage, after you finish the boss in the second stage, you get a, sh uh, a, a suit, and then that gives you the trophy. So... Hopefully, if anybody's wondering, that's how you do that one. Echo the Dolphin. This is a super easy one. You just have to use sonar on another dolphin. It's a little silly. Uh, so you just walk over, hit circle, and you did uh, sonar, and you get the trophy. So no big tough one there. Tides of Time was a little stupid. You have to eat pools of fish by using the dash button, and you'll hit square. And all I did was find a pool of fish, go down below them, and, and go up and down with a dash to get this one. So, not too, 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 too technical. Fatal Labyrinth. I did not like this one. I had a friend watching me, and uh, it was just, we both were just racking our heads like, this is so stupid looking. Um, but you pretty much can just cheese it. Just run around the room. If you die, just reload your save state, and you can cheese your way to the stairs and not really have to fight too many uh, mobs. You're just looking for stairs. You have to get to the fifth floor of the labyrinth to get the trophy. Flicky, Flicky, um, Flicky, um, you have to, it's a bird. It's a, uh, I, I watch a speed trial guide to see you have to collect like six birds, then take them to an exit. And uh, you just a speed trial for it on YouTube to check it out. Um, guys doing speed runs, it'll show exactly what you need to do to get all of them in one quick run. And get them dropped off. You have to get 80,000 points, which you can do, and I believe, in four stages. Gain ground. This was not part of the trophies, so I didn't have to do it. Golden Axe, this was... Um, oh, man, I want to say what this one was. I believe this... One of these were a magic. Collect 20 magic. That's what this one was. So you just uh, have to catch these little imp guys, then you hit them with your sword... And uh, they drop the magic little potions. Then you use the magic. Oh, you don't have to even use the magic. You just got to collect 20, uh, 20 magics, which takes about, I would say, uh, three stages. 
Golden Axe 2 was... Um, there was one where I had to use the magic 10 times. I might be mixing Golden Axe 3 and Golden Axe 2. So one was the 10 times, and then the other one... Ooh, man. I mean, I'm shooting these off the top of my head, so it's... I would say one is the magic, and then the other one is... Uh, finishing to a certain stage. I think you have to do the tower. This one was the tower. You had to play to the tower. So you had to go through I think it was three levels. And you can use continues and stuff like that. So it's not too too big of a deal. This one was the ten magics. Um, not too hard. You just find those little gnome guys again and have a little bag on their back. You hit them. They drop the thing. Just make sure you use the potions every time. Kid Chameleon. Um... What was this one? Well, I might be mixing Alex Kid and Kid Chameleon around. The Kid Chameleon actually might be the shield one. So I'm going to probably fix that in post and say on Alex Kid, I think I did something different. Um, this one was actually the one where you get the Freddy mask, which you can see in the picture on the left side. They have like a Jason, um, not Freddy mask, Jason mask. So, and that takes to the fourth level. You just hit a little P block and it pops out and you put the Jason mask on. And you get, it's called a maniac mask. So... Fancy Star 2, you don't have to play. Sucks. Love this game. Um, I love this, the online series, actually, the best. But uh, all you have to do with this one is load it up, exit it, once you unlock it. So, you don't have to really even play it. Same thing for Fancy Star 3. You don't have to play them. I will say all these Fancy Stars, though, that you there's a video that comes along that gets unlocked as you do things. Um, and that's also attached to a trophy. So all you do with those is you load them up and you can exit them right after. And sometimes what I have to do for trophy hunting is look into the forums of the game that I'm playing just to see what other people are doing that makes it just a little bit quicker. So Rise Star, you have to get five stars and it, there's a, a little code you can put in in the options menu that lets the stars be seen by little blue stars on the map. So it makes it really easy to find the five stars. You should probably get this in um, by like the end of the first stage, end of the first or second stage. Not very hard. Kind of cool game, but it was annoying because of how janky the controller is compared to the original Genesis controller. Shining Force, this was not attached to a trophy, um, but uh, excellent series of games. And these weren't, like, you just had to open them. That's the only thing they were attached. Like, you don't have to play any of them. There's not a specific trophy for them. Same thing for this Shining in the Darkness. No specific trophy, but you, there is a trophy for all play all Genesis games. And those, you have to load the game up. And as soon as you get past the Sega menu, you can, I mean, the Sega logo, you just jump out and restart. So... As I said, this is our last trophy. <clears throat> I'll reiterate so people are like, what are you looking at this stuff for? This is our last trophy. Um, it's called Critique. And it's just looking at the different art in the museum. And then we'll get platinum number 156. Shinobi, you have to uh, finish the first stage without dying. Uh, you can turn the game on easy. It's, uh, it's not too difficult. Let's see. Sonic and Knuckles was not part of it. It was uh, just one you just have to open for that Play All Genesis games just to the Sega logo. I had this for my um, my Genesis, so I love this game. 3D Blast I never had for my Genesis. Um, so this one you did, you have to collect little um, animals. And I forget the exact name of them. But you collect five of them and you drop them in a gold ring. And then you move to the next part of the stage. This is pretty much not missable. Um, unless I'm missing something. You have to collect five, you put them in a ring, then you go to the next part of the stage, collect five, put them in a ring, and you get them from the enemies. So, it wasn't too, too difficult. Spinball, this is one I think you have to do 10 million points in one stage. Um, it's awesome, it's easy. Don't I mean, don't even rack your head too hard with this one, guys. Just play this one for fun. I don't think you're going to have to really challenge yourself too much. Don't need to go too much in detail. This one, you have to play through stage one. Make sure you have 50 coins for Sonic the Hedgehog. And you go to the the extra little zone. They jump through a ring at the end when you get to the Robotnik sign. And it'll take you to the uh, 
the special stage and you just have to get the crystal. Um, that's for that trophy. Sonic 2, the only trophy for this one is part of um, Unlock Everything and you do have to beat the final boss, the not the final boss, the first stage final boss um, with two, two players. So all you do is put the second controller beside you or B, have a friend uh, hit the boss once and then you hit the boss and finish it off and that'll help you with the Unlock Everything trophy. Sonic 3, you have to uh, get 100 coins with rings. Sorry. Sorry, Sonic. Um, 100 rings with Tails. So all you do is have, uh, you just load the game up as Tails only, and you just collect them. If you do get hit, it doesn't count. You need to have 100 total rings. Uh, Streets of Rage... This one, you just have to play the first level with three different characters. So all you do is play the level with one character, then you reset the game, play through it again with the second type of character, reset the game, play through the third character. So not super technical, guys. Streets of Rage 2. I don't think this one had one. I think it was Streets of Rage 3 I jumped to, so I don't think there was one for this. But there was one for Streets of Rage 3, and you had to get the whole way. I got Critique, actually. It pops. So we got Planetarium. Hold up a second. We got the uh, 156 Platinum. It actually popped with me not doing every piece of art. So really, really cool, guys. Um, I did not expect to hit so many Platinums back to back to back. This is actually three Platinums in one day. Um, cause I didn't hit my first platinum earlier. It was 154. I hit, uh, everyone's gone to the rapture. I hit platinum 154. Then I hit platinum 155, which was plants vs. zombies. This has been a progression. Uh, trophies, platinum trophies don't happen overnight. And now I'm hitting Sonic Ultimate Genesis Collections platinum number 156 for taking trophy land. New series I'm doing on here, uh, on our YouTube channel, Broke Left Stick Games. If you want to see more of our stuff please please uh, go check out our channel and if you like what you see there subscribe like comment we always like critiques if anything we can do better we're always we're about growing we're about community and we love everybody that uh pops in there as long as you're not a troll or mean or anything like that um yeah i guess we're finally at the end i got my back to super thunderblade so i will definitely say though like i don't I want to know when I mixed up on this one, this Alex kid. But I think we'll stop it at that. Uh, we'll just show you guys my, my favorite one again. Decap Attack. I'm leaving it on that as my final scene. Was fun. I felt like it, it was almost like a David Jaffe kind of game um, for fluidity. Just because all of his games are like easily action-based. Guys, thank you so much. We here at Broke Lifts the Games really appreciate you stopping by. And we hope to do a lot more of these Tig and Trophy Land soon. Thank you, and uh, good night.